Hello and welcome to my channel again. This is Khulud from Mastering Egyptian Arabic. So, um, this video is going to be about month of the year. Finally, we're in December, the last month of 2020. <laughs> so, of course, 2020 was like a really exceptional year. So unique and so weird. <laughs> Finally, it's ending. Hopefully, next year will be better. And, you know, this is giving me like such a flashback to last year. Um, at the end of uh, 2019, I was so excited about 2020 and I made a video about it. You can check it here. Um, it is about celebrations when you want to celebrate with anyone about any uh, occasion. <laughs> okay, make sure to check it out. And uh, today's video is going to be about a uh, different month of the year. And I will give you a trick to how to sound more native when you're describing, when you're talking about a specific month. So without further ado, let's get started into the video. The word year is sana, sana, sana. That is the singular form. For plural, it is sinin, sinin. If you're saying like 10 years, you will say ashar. Sinin, Ashar, Sinin. Four numbers, you can check it out for, from this video. Uh, numbers from one to 10, it will be so helpful for you. And this is if you're saying like 10 years, nine years, eight years, whatever. But if you're saying one year, you will say Sana Wahda. Sana Wahda. So you say the word of the year plus Wahda. And if you're saying two years, it will be Sana Tin, Sana Tin. These are the only exceptions. The rest you add the number and then year. Asher Sinin, Taman Sinin, whatever. Okay. So these are the Arabic numbers from 1 to 10, how they actually look like when you're writing it. And this is when you're saying the years. Uh, first one, Sana Wahda. Second one, Sana Tin. Talat Sinin. The number uh, three is Talata, so you remove the Teh Marbuta and it is just Tanin. Talat Sinin, okay? And four years, instead of Arba, it is Arba Sinin. Five years, instead of Khamsa, it is Khamas Sinin. Six, instead of Setta, it is Set Sinin. Seven, instead of Saba, it is just Saba Sinin. Eight instead of Tamania. This one is a little bit different. It is just Taman Sinin. Nine instead of Tesa, it is Tesa Sinin. Ten instead of Ashara, it is Ashar Sinin. As I mentioned to you, you need to check the videos for uh, numbers from 1 to 10. It will be so helpful for you to understand this, okay? So that was the rule for, for numbers from 3 to 10. You add the word years in the plural form, which is sinin. But numbers from 11 to um, all numbers you add the singular form, which is Sana. Like if it's 20, so it is Ashreen Sana. If it's 30, it is Talatin Sana, and goes on. I didn't make a video yet about numbers after 10, so I will make it to you and make sure to check it out as well. So that is the same rule for anything that you're adding a number next to it. Uh, if it's weeks, days, books, movies, whatever, okay? And then for month, month it is uh, for singular, for singular it is shahr, shahr, shahr. And for plural it is shuhur, shuhur, shuhur. And it is the same rule for the numbers if you're saying 10 months. You will say Ashar Shuhur, Ashar Shuhur. If you're saying one month, you will say Shahr Wahid, Shahr Wahid. Two months, it is Shahrin, Shahrin, Shahrin. 
days it is a yam a yam that is the plural form and for the singular form yom yom 10 days it is ashar ayam ashar ayam one day yom wahed yom wahed two days you mean you mean you can check this video it is the first video on the channel for days of the week four weeks asa bia asa bia that is the plural form asa bia for the singular form uh, just a week usbua 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 if you want to say uh, usbua wahed yeah guess it you guessed it right that is one week one week two weeks is boin is boin five weeks khamas asabia khamas asabia same goes for the numbering rule and for month the first month january it is yanayr 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 don't forget, as I mentioned to you, stay tuned till the end of the video because I will give you the trick of saying the month in a native Egyptian form because we don't really say it by its name. February, 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 February. March, March, Maris, Maris, Maris. April, 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 May, Mayu, Mayu, it's like mayonnaise, <laughs> Mayu, June, Yonu, 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 July, Yolio, Yolio, Yolio. August, Augustus, Augustus, it's like Augustus, Augustus, September, it is the same, September, September, October, it is the same as well, October, October, November, the same, November, November, December, the same as well, December, December. So from September till December, it is the same in Arabic. September, October, November, December. And now let's get into the tip. The tip for sounding more native as an Egyptian speaker when you're talking about month, we don't actually say the name of the month. We rarely do so. Instead, we use it as numbers. So we can say shahr. We had month of number one or the first month, which is January. Shah it mean February. Shah Kaleta March. Shah Arba April. Shah Khamsa May. And goes on. Shah Sitta. Shah Saba. Shah Ritamania. Shah Ritisa. Shah Tashara. As I mentioned to you, four numbers from 1 to 10, you can check it out from this video. It will be so helpful for you to say all of the month. Okay, so thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Write me down in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends. See you guys next video. Bye-bye.